Now, your local Storm Tracker 2 forecast. All right, guys, happy Friday. It is 512. This is the view uh, looking toward downtown. I believe this is around the Kendall Yards area. And uh, we're starting off our day with a little bit of mist outside, some light rain showers, but out of the Spokane area, we're beginning to dry out already. By the time we get to the next couple hours, we're going to be moving toward even drier conditions around the northwest. As right now, the showers are primarily over that southeast corner of Washington. We'll throw up that satellite radar in just a second. Uh, but right now, temperatures are pretty warm because of how, how just how much cloud cover we had overnight and uh, what we're going to be seeing for the remainder of your day. Clouds do a good job of keeping us a little bit warmer overnight. You can see already down toward the Palouse, 40 degree temperatures, 39 in Spokane, 36 in Coeur d'Alene and 43 in Wenatchee to start off your Friday morning. Now, uh, as we go towards the next couple days, we're seeing those showers gradually decrease. That's why for your Saturday and Sunday, we're looking at partly cloudy skies. Temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 50s. And then unfortunately, that comes to an end pretty quickly. By the time we get to late Sunday night into Monday, we've got our next round of showers on the way. That next batch of showers is going to be pretty stubborn. It's going to stick around for a good amount of time. From about Monday through Wednesday, we've got a strong chance of those showers. Thursday presents our best chance for drier skies, but the weekend partly cloudy. No strong chance of uh, showers aside from a couple light sprinkles uh, that we'll see. We'll throw up future tracker also, uh, but you can see satellite radar looking pretty nice. Just south of I-90 is where we see those showers and these are going to continue to push farther to the south and clear out toward uh, northern Oregon. Uh, that's really over the next few hours. This isn't going to last too long and you can see already in the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area calm weather. Uh, current wind speeds are also calm. We're in the single digits across the board. We are not expecting any major change in these wind speeds uh, because really all we're expecting is the possibility of maybe five mile an hour gusts. Uh, so as far as the weekend goes, calm winds uh, ahead. As we take a look at future tracker, you can see these are the showers that we're talking about that are still clearing out. This is kind of the uh, better formation of what we're seeing on satellite radar right now. By 930, this continues to push farther to the south, passing through Moses Lake and Yakima. It pushes all the way out toward the uh, that northwest corner of Oregon. And uh, by 10 p.m. tonight, we're looking at good skies outside. So if you have outdoor plans, dinner plans for this weekend, uh, for today mainly, you're looking okay. Same situation going into your Saturday. Here's 9 a.m., couple clouds to note, so it might be partly cloudy to wake up to, but otherwise sunny skies going into your afternoon. The majority of the showers that we see on Saturday are over the Cascades and over toward the west side of the state in the form of rain. Couple jumping up over uh, the Kettle Falls area. And then going into the rest of your Saturday and the beginning of your Sunday, dry skies continue. Again, that next best bet for wet weather weather hits us by about the later portion of your Sunday into Monday. Notice the percentage of precipitation, the probability of precipitation from Monday through your Thursday. We have a jumping up from Monday into Tuesday. Your best bet is probably going to be Tuesday for some consistent rain showers. And then going into Thursday, we lighten up a bit. So we've only got a 20% chance of those rain showers into your Thursday. Otherwise, again, I say focus on the weekend because that is looking like the best part of the forecast. Brittany.